Thank you very much for invitation for your conference. It is very important, very interesting for us. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Ludmila Baeva. I'm a Dean of Faculty of Social Communication of uh, Astrakhan State University. Uh, and uh, here are my colleague, Alexander Grigoryev. Oh, sorry. Is that what we said? Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm a, a teacher of uh, the chair of sociology at the same university uh, uh, i will uh, leave my um, sounds Zvenu off slyši. because otherwise it would be uh, so. uh -huh. hello sorry sorry okay. well, <laughs> okay so so the big problem is that you have two pieces in the same space? Yes, I guess that's... Some, some technical issues. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. One, one PC should be muted. Yes, we understand this problem. Yes, it's it, it no problem for us. Yeah. Uh, the subject of our is... See, risk and safety and... Uh, uh, in digitalization of education and social space. And uh, we present you first result of our project, uh, which includes philosophers, sociologists, and computer scientists. Uh, our report is particularly um, relevant for all of us who work in the sphere of digital humanity, digital uh, education, maybe uh, safety of information society and e-culture. Uh, next, I okay. Okay, we see the presentation. That's working. Mm -hmm. You can see. Yeah. Can you see presentation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is working fine. Okay. Uh, ensuring safety and sustainability in a modern open society is becoming one of the leading tasks in relation to the educational system. The digitalization of education from university and MOOC is moving to school. The digitalization of education, it's a new general trend of uh, our society. Uh, the situation related to the pandemic has only increased the urgency of this issue. Since the trend of the digital education developed in the world, problem related to the study of its impact on human and issue of his security have become more relevant. Assessing the impact of digital education on the person becomes a necessary component of achievement its positive effect. Uh, we are talking about protection from the negative uh, impact. And illegal uh, manipulative information and psychological influence exerted on modern people by various sources. Security in this condition is associated with protection from possible deformation of social and cultural system that lead to the violation of health, life, rights, uh, and personal freedom due to information and psychological impact using modern electronic resources. In the Russian system of education, the format of digital learning is being implemented in many ways. E-learning is actively used in the system of higher education. Since uh, 2016, the Russian government has set the task of the digital digitalization of basic school education and launched the project Russian Digital Educational Environment, which should prepare to transition of education and school to distance space. Uh, the current situation clearly shows that the digital form of education uh, was demonstration its uh, certain advantages, especially in emergency situations when traditional training was not possible. Mikhail and Anna were interested in said about it, about uh, advantages of digital education. According to the focus of the most expert, the near future will be associated with the transition to the mixed form, blended form of education, or complete replacement with digital education. During the year 2020, which was turning point to the educational system due to the folk, uh, for the transition for distance format against the background uh, the, of the pandemic, 
and we conducted empirical and theoretical studies. These studies all of it asked to formulate the main problems faced the students and teachers in new environment under conditions of global social experiment. We have systematized the risk and threats in this process and present the main parameters uh, that determine the security factors. First of all, we uh, separate zone uh, of uh, manifestation of security risk. You can see it. Uh, information threats are related on the possibility of uh, cyber attacks, violations of training content, uh, obtain illegal access to personal data, spreading fake information, and many others. Uh, threats of the uh, physical and, men and mental health um, of students, maybe of teacher, they can associate it with increased screen time emotional and mental overload and other problems. Next, uh, cognitive risks. Uh, in this area, it is possible to weaken memory, creative activity, and the ability of uh, uh, logical, analytical thinking, which is associated with um, information in a ready-made, simplified form for perception. Next, very important, communicative risks. Education forms not only knowledge, but also social skills of person. As the leading process moves to the electronic environment into personal skills and social skills, soft skills, such as uh, dialogue, uh, mutual assistance, responsibility, engagement, we can, uh, at the same time, maybe a simulative sociality is formed. For students in crisis situation, deprived of social support, the weakening of real communication um, can become a source of value, maybe existential disorientation, insecurity from external destructive manipulative influence. Next, uh, behavioral uh, risks, behavioral sphere related to the lifestyle changes in broad sense and the risks of behavior disorder. Uh, from anxiety to um, maybe escape uh, to uh, virtual, virtual reality. Dangerous in this area uh, are the growing dependence of gadgets, internet communication and social network like uh, internet gaming disorder, which is becoming a source for new type of uh, modern human unfreedom. Uh, next on the we have conducted sociological research uh, using focus group interview and expert interview methods. Uh, the goal was to check whether these challenges are present in the Russian educational environment. And if so, what is the evidence for them? Uh, so now let me hand it out to my colleague Alexander, uh, who will present the result of conducted research. Uh, hello, once again. I hope it's all right now with the sound. Uh, uh, could you please allow me to demonstrate presentation? Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, so uh, let me start <coughs> with introducing to you to the um, methodological aspects of our research. Uh, in February and March 2020, we conducted four focus group interviews with uh, eight teachers in each. And uh, as Ludmina has already said, the uh, task was to check if uh, uh, the studied risks were presented in our, our opinion of uh, teachers. Um, and um, Mm. Uh, the results uh, you can see on the next uh, slide. Um, uh, we, allocate, we have allocated several uh, risks uh, that were studied during our theoretical part. Uh, they are informational, health, uh, social and communicational, cognitive and uh, behavioral. Alexander, but, Alexander sorry, yes? sorry, 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 I'm so sorry. We are having some technical difficulties. Could mm -hmm. you share your presentation once again. Okay, now I think that we will, okay, is that, okay. Is it okay now? 
No. We can see it now. So yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry about that. I'm just not sure if you see Ludmila's presentation or mine. So what we see now is inter influence of the risks uh, informational. Mm -hmm. is, is that it? Uh, no, it's Ludmila's one. Okay, so so could you? So Ludmila, you should you should stop sharing your presentation, mm -hmm. and then. Alexander should uh, share his once again, and mm -hmm. then I think that we will resolve. Mm -hmm. But Yudmila is still. Okay, okay, so now it's so now you share yours, Alexander. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. It's it's a key now. So now we see the allocated risks and threats of digitalization. Yes, that's it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, okay. Sorry about that. So. <laughs> that's okay. So uh, these are the um, risks and threats uh, we have allocated during our research. And uh, they are all these threats and risks uh, we studied during our theoretical part were presented in our opinion of teachers. And uh, that means that most likely in uh, reality. So they are, as I have already said, informational, health, social, com communicational, cognitive, and behavioral. But we also allocated uh, two more risks, risks which we have not studied during our theoretical part. It is organizational and methodical risks and risks of weakening of educational quality. Uh, so let me brief you introduce to the opinions of teachers on these risks. Um, if we speak about informational risks, it uh, mostly concerns uh, the lack of uh, uh, computer technology in schools or um, even more the lack of uh, uh, computers in st of students. Uh, now we can speak about uh, um, informational inequality of our students in our city and this inequality reproduces other parts of inequality and uh, teachers believe that it's very a crucial problem for our society. Okay. Next are health risks. Uh, teachers believe that even before um, the digital education was introduced in our city, some students uh, suffered uh, from lack of vision, or from uh, a loss of some kind of loss of vision or um, uh, some uh, damage to their posture, uh, lack of moving and something like that. And introducing even uh, more uh, digital technology can increase uh, these problems. Um, social and communicational risks, um, they mostly concern uh, the pure, uh, poor um, um, communicational uh, skills of students. Uh, teachers believe that students already uh, have some problems with expression, their opinion, uh, and creation uh, uh, of um, mutual understanding. And a lack of uh, interpersonal communication can uh, increase these risks, cognitive risks. Um, Teachers believe uh, that uh, students nowadays have some problems with uh, attention concentration and uh, uh, with memory. Uh, and um, introduction of digital education can uh, uh, make the situation even worse uh, because, uh, uh, for example, it's very common for us uh, to have such situation when uh, students uh, do some exercise at the blackboard, for example, at mathematic, mathematics uh, classes or at language classics when they write on the blackboard or in their uh, notebooks. And uh, when we provide uh, uh, digital education so students don't have to write anymore, uh, so this part of uh, technical, technical memory uh, disappears and it's also weakens uh, memory skills in general. Um, and if you speak about behavioral risks, in teacher's opinion, uh, now we can observe something like uh, nomophobia or no mobile phone phobia when uh, students uh, are left without their mobile phones, they feel uh, are very uncomfortable and uh, make uh, whatever they can to get uh, their smartphones back. So um, also it's about uh, 
other dependencies, for example, on computer games. And uh, when we use uh, digital technology, so the students all the time use their computers, their tablets or smartphones. So they uh, have even more so-called, if I can say, temptation to uh, be more independent uh, on uh, these gadgets and uh, or on computer games or something like that. Um, if you speak about the other risks, for example, about um, methodical risks, uh, this uh, whole uh, digital education was a completely new experience for most of the teachers. And uh, sometimes they just didn't know how to teach in this uh, situation. They uh, did not have enough uh, creative tasks for digital uh, platforms. They don't, did not have uh, any standards of teaching using uh, digital platforms. So they really were in need of methodical help. And uh, uh, organizational risks, uh, uh, it's mostly about of organization of educational process. If we have uh, offline uh, standard education, it's uh, usually pretty easy to organize students uh, when you see it just in front of you. But uh, when the students are left uh, by their parents alone at home, uh, we have very um, weak uh, possibility to organize them and they can actually do whatever they want and uh, uh, sometimes it's not studying what they're doing and uh, when uh, for example they turn the camera off we have no idea what they are doing and we are not sure if they are listening to our lecture or uh, they are listening to music or to something like this so uh, this whole problem makes uh, teaching process are rather difficult. And uh, mm, the last but not the least the risk uh, is the whole, is like a, a very uh, general risk of weakening of educational quality. It's um, uh, concerns, um, uh, actually all uh, the, the risk concerns I have already said, it can lead uh, to weakening of educational quality and it means that a person with lower educational quality, with lower knowledge, can achieve less in its in his future, and uh, uh, the society will be less uh, educated. Um, also, during our uh, research, we have uh, uh, allocated uh, some other uh, risk, uh, inter influence of risks uh, like uh, social and communicational risks. Uh, can lead uh, uh, to uh, weakening of educational quality by increasing of conflicts and weakening of cognitive abilities or organizational and methodical risks can also weaken the edu educational quality causing troubles with uh, educational process organization. Uh, we also uh, uh, see that uh, behavioral risks can develop uh, damage dependencies and uh, weaken uh, student health uh, and informational risks uh, can uh, cause organizational troubles by different kinds of uh, disorders of class caring. For example, when there is no internet connection, it's impossible to carry uh, a class. Um, so to sum it up, um, we can conclude that uh, the most important condition for implementation of safe uh, an effective digital learning uh, is to create a system of safe and communication and educational environment which should cover such components as informational, communicational, anthropological, and spiritual uh, activity. So, um, thank you very much uh, for your attention, and we will be ready to answer the questions further. Thank you very much. Kvala.